Hi, I'm Fred Allen Wolf. You're about to see an unusual movie called Beyond the Barbed Wire, an artist's view of the Holocaust. This picture, this movie, is going to change the way you think about the nature of reality, the nature of suffering, and what it means to be a human being, and most importantly, how you can become a more creative individual even under the most dire and life-threatening circumstances. As you know, I always wanted to be a painter. I never had a chance because I was a tailor. It was a good thing I was a tailor because I, I, I'm alive. I got through it. Normally what we mean by reality is reality that can be sensed with the human senses. Rituals that were used that brought people together uh, kind of uh, created an environment in which certain kinds of things could happen. They don't want to depict what they do, because that's what they did. They knew they do it wrong. They, this is murder what they do. They didn't want anybody to do that. Even if you was having the material, they wouldn't allow you to depict this what's going on because they didn't let in any cameras. This was kept closed up for out, outside the world. And they denied everything else also. They lied to everybody. The whole world was a lie. The whole, everything what they did. What we're dealing with in terms of creation is not only just creation, but creation and something else called annihilation. What it all boils down to, in a nutshell, is that the universe seems to be made of light and information. And information is boggling the light around into various forms. When we're talking about the human body, and what's going on when it's creating, I would imagine something similar happens in our thought processes. A creative act from nothing, something from nothing, it's the Big Bang. 